members and a civilian teacher, Chris McAuliffe, on board. NBC's Jay Barbary has covered every shuttle mission, and he was at Kennedy Space Center that day, and he's there again for us this afternoon. Hi again to you, Jay. Hi, Natalie. Well, as you can see here, the ceremonies are over for today, and the memorial behind me called the Mira is now being visited by tourists, and they've also you can see a lot of flowers have been brought and put in front of the memorial today, so they're remembering what happened here 20 years ago. And the big difference, uh, Natalie, is that today is a typical warm, sunny Florida day, but it sure wasn't 20 years ago. It got down to 27 degrees the night before everything froze including the Challenger and its booster rockets and the tank and they finally launched at 1138 in the morning and when they did 73 seconds after liftoff this blowtorch that developed between the fuel joint splice and the right solid rocket booster burned through the structure holding it together and we had this horrific explosion above our heads at 40 something thousand feet the crew and most of the debris went on up to 65,000 feet and then landed in the crew vessel in the ocean 14 miles off the coast of Cape Canaveral. It was the first time that we'd seen people in an explosion. We'd seen a lot of rockets explode before, but it was a memory that most of us will never forget and we don't want to see anything like that ever again. There's been 114 shuttle missions. We've lost two. Columbia, three years ago on February the, uh, February the 1st. That date is coming up now in just another three days. It'll be three years since Columbia. 114 flights. We had 31 flights, Natalie, before that. The Mercury flights, Gemini, and the Apollo landings, including the Apollo Soyuz, which was the first handshake in space. So with 145 flights here now, we're ready to actually retire the shuttles in 2010 and prepare another vehicle. It's called the Crew Excursion Vehicle. It's been prepared now. It will take astronauts back to the moon and finally on to Mars, Natalie. And I'm curious, uh, Jay, with the folks there, are, 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 is there sadness leaving the shuttle program behind or is there a sense of ready to move on to, to the next frontier or the next vehicle uh, as far as space exploration? Yes, yeah, so they, they, they're ready to move on because what they've learned from the uh, original Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo vehicles and the shuttle. The shuttle was built to be a space truck. Well, it also uh, has to stay in Earth orbit. It can't go any higher than 300 miles. So they need a vehicle that can be put together for a specific mission. It can have additional stages if it needs, but they'll have essentially a crew vehicle that'll carry five people and then it can go on to the moon. It can be used to visit the space station. It can go on to the moon. A lunar base is built there. It can leave the moon for Mars. And you will have three or four vehicles going to Mars because you need to go on a flotilla in case you lose one while going out. You're talking about a two-year trip. You can bring those astronauts over and they can join the other crews. So this is a long way off, but you've got to have this versatile vehicle. Unfortunately, we found out that the shuttle isn't very versatile. And, and finally, Jay, before we go, I know that just a few years ago, you were considered a civilian candidate for space flight, and we all think here that you should put in your application yet again when it comes to that. <laughs> yes, uh, I made it into the final eight. They, 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 they suspended it. They're supposed to reinstate it, but I want to hold your breath because if they reinstate it, they have to keep the eight that I'm involved in, and then they have to open it to other people to apply also. So I don't know if uh, I'll be able to go at my age now, uh, Natalie, my plumbing might stop working before I can get on a vehicle, you know, it's going. I don't know. But, you know, I'd be ready that, to go. I'd be ready to go. All right. Okay, well, dear. That's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Jay. And other news now.